Man, have you heard about this adpocalypse thing? All the ads are gone. I am not making any money anymore. Yeah. This is not good at all. I know. Well, you're my accountant. What should we do? By my figures, you're going to be bankrupt in like two weeks. What? Can you crunch the numbers or something? Isn't that a thing? That's not a thing. I feel like that's a thing. It's definitely not. Crunch the numbers. Same. Look, there's only one way for you to not go broke, but you are not gonna like it. Dude, just tell me. I am willing to do anything. You need to sell your guns. Listen, with the money you make off your guns, you can pay off your mortgage, you can start a college savings account. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm very glad you're here. Before we get started, I have a new target. It's three quarter inch AR500 steel. I actually met the owner of this company when I was in Michigan with Roman and he wanted to send me one, real nice guy. And the cool thing about it is this stand like comes apart and collapses and so it fits in a really small space. I'm not getting any money for showing this to you or pushing it or on the sales. I just thought it was cool and he sent me one. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this episode though. And what I mean by meat and potatoes is monitors and computer parts. Someone sent me these old hard drives a while back and I wanted to know if they're bulletproof or not. So I decided to take it a step further. I want to see how far different calibers get through this. We have three old hard drives and then we have this Panasonic Tough Book. How do you open it? So it's one of those like real hardcore like work laptops. Uh, it, it's how tough it really is. And then I have a couple of the old school big giant monitors. So in classic Demolition Ranch style, we're gonna start small and we'll work our way up and get a little bigger. See how accurate I am? With a 22 long rifle, I have a Walther P22. I'm gonna go for a headshot on the new guy. That will work. All right, gonna aim straight at the front hard drive. Looks like I killed it. And 100% bulletproof against 22 long rifle. 45 ACP. Okay, I feel accurate enough. Let's hit that target. Actually pretty square and broke all the metal off there. Did not hit those discs in there. And only slightly dented our second one. Not bad. The 1911, that's a large gun. But what's even bigger is the Desert Eagle. And here's the 45 ACP. Here is the 50. AE that shoots out of the Desert Eagle. I mean, people classify the 45 as like a really big round. Not so much when you put it next to a 50 AE. So I hit it right here, a really nice hit, but then it pulled it down and went straight through the book, straight out the back of the book, and into the first monitor but it did not go through. I don't know what we'd count that as since it kind of skipped two of our hard drives, but it is what it is. Check out the newest gun to the Demo Ranch lineup. Just got this. This is a Henry. This is a big boy silver. It's pretty, right? And this is chambered, if it will focus, in 357 Magnum. It's a good looking gun, right? 357 Magnum. That is a very powerful round. It's the size of a nine millimeter, but it's moving way faster, which adds a ton of power. I actually didn't have a 327 Magnum, so I decided to add this one. And this will be my first shot out of it. Let's see if I can do a headshot on him. That ought to knock him down. All right, let's go at the hard drive. Oh, 
we cleared the table. I shot off to the side a little bit, so here's the first one. I nicked the edge of it, nicked the edge of that. I mean, you can tell it was hitting a lot of stuff. Just didn't really do much of that at all. Went into our tough book, did not exit our tough book. That is from the 50 AE. So I guess we ought to step it up again. But before we do, has anyone ever thought to themselves, man, I really like lever action rifles, but I really, really like mare's legs. Not like my wife mare's legs, don't. I'm talking about like small little lever actions. So when I thought about getting, you know, the long version, I also thought it would be really cool to have the short version, which they call mare's legs. So this is a 357 Magnum as well, but it's short. It's classified as a pistol because it has a real short barrel and the tiny little stock, which really isn't good for doing anything. I think I could seriously see myself every day carrying this thing. You know, like a, you could hide it pretty easily. Can you imagine if you're a bad guy and you have like this little snubby 38 special and you're like, I'm gonna go rob that liquor store over there. And you walk in and you're like, empty the drawer, put it in the bag. And then the dude in line behind you is like, with this thing, I'd be like, just peeing my pants right there. Right, I mean, this thing's crazy. Yeah, you don't mess with a guy carrying a giant 357 Magnum pistol. Dang it. I missed my last shot. I didn't really want to shoot the computers with this. I just wanted to show off because I'm really excited about this little thing. Speed beats armor. So let's try really fast bullet at 5.56 out of this A-Rack. This one should go deeper than any have gone before. didn't even move anything. I either missed or was going so fast that it didn't really disrupt it very much. Right in the center, look at that. So the first one is going so fast, it really didn't disrupt it that much. It's slowing down by the second one, so it makes a much bigger hole, and stopped on the third. That's actually good information to have. If anyone is ever shooting at you with an AR-15, which is a common military caliber, so in a wartime situation, it's a possibility. Just put on three hard drives, you're golden. Listen guys, I did not want to do this, but the time has come where we need to step it up to 308. This is a SOCOM 16, chambered in 7.62 by 51, and I'm going to put it straight through that front hard drive. Oh, yeah. I like it. Okay, let's just finish it off while we're here. All right, what have we here? Okay, 308 went straight through the front one, straight through the second one. Oh, and it stopped. So you can see pieces of it here. Actually, that's not pieces, that's pieces of hard drive. Are these pieces of hard drive too? No, it's hot. So it stopped in the front of the tough buck. Nothing coming through. So if you're wearing three hard drives and someone shoots you with a 5.56, you're good to go. If they have a 308, not so much. That definitely could kill you. I wish I had brought a bigger gun. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a 50 BMG that I always carry with me in my truck. 357 Magnum, 50 BMG. Let's see if our pile of computer parts can stop this giant bullet. Whew, that's a big maybe. <laughs> There's the first one dead. I don't know which one is the second, which is the third, but they're both dead. 
And then there's where it came through the tough book. Dead. First computer, dead, was already dead. But it didn't go through. Oh, it came out the bottom. Yep, right there. Just a little bit. Right there. That's the problem with 50 BMG. Once they start hitting something, they kind of veer off course. They don't stay straight. I know the feeling. No homo. But a lot of people wanted me to shoot for Easter. Shoot eggs in a line and see how many a 50 BMG can go through. There's no way you can keep that in a line. It would go whick. I've tried shooting a ton of things in a line. It always comes out the sides. But now we do know that three hard drives, a tough book, and an old computer monitor are not enough to stop a 50 BMG. They're enough to make it veer off course, so I wouldn't advise wearing that as body armor. I mean, I guess if it's all you have, at least it'll veer off course and not hit you center mass. So yeah, I would advise wearing that if someone is shooting at you with a 50 BMG. Go for it, it's better than nothing. Uh, oh, these shirts, I need to show you all these. These shirts. I'm. I'm stretching, can you see it? This is the Bald Eagle with AR-15 wings shirt. It's about as America as you can get. And we sold them a couple weeks ago and you guys really loved them. But I got tons of flack from you ladies because I didn't have ladies fitted shirts. I'm sorry, I also got a lot of emails from you big boys because I don't have any big boy shirts in like 4XLs. And I don't want y'all to think that I don't like ladies or big boys. I love the ladies and the big boys. And so, I wanted to show the ladies and the big boys some love. We're bringing them back. Another limited run, only one week, and that's it. And we have ladies fitted t-shirts, and we have big boy shirts all the way up to 5XL. And we also have the regular ones, like these that we had before. And we have ladies tank tops, so you girls can look good all summer long. So. It's a limited time run again. After this week, if you didn't get one, that's your own fault. There's a link in the description to Teespring and I greatly appreciate it because in these tough YouTube times, I'm just glad you're here. Thanks for coming. I'll continue to make videos for you guys if you guys continue to come watch them. I love you. I'm not going anywhere. And I will see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Uh, don't move, don't move. Bobby? I know that was wrong, but it felt so right. <laughs> it's like a week's worth of ammo money.